An email newsletter is possibly one of the best side hustles and ways to make money online. You can start with absolutely no money at all and there are a number of websites that will get you up and running in no time at all. So by the end of this video, I will show you exactly how to set up an email newsletter completely for free on Beehive, how to get started, how to create your first email and finally how to start growing your email email list, the all important question. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get into the tutorial. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use a live example. So my partner, she runs an online fitness company, an online coaching company, and I have been pestering her for months and months and months to start an email newsletter. The main reason is that she's incredible at writing. She knows her niche really well. She has a very specific niche. So with those two items combined, she can have a very powerful email newsletter to either grow her existing business or to generate revenue purely on its own and become a standalone business. So the platform that I recommend is one called Beehive. I use it for my business and it's just so quick and simple to get set up with. It's also incredibly powerful. So as you can see here, it's beehive.com with two eyes. There is a link in the description below if you'd like to go straight there. And what you can see is it breaks down, you know, how easy it is to go ahead and set up a newsletter. They've got all these newsletters that have gone on to do incredibly well. The Milk Road, for example, which sold for millions very recently and was grown within just 12 months. So the first thing you'll do is is of course just click on start a newsletter. Um, I'm not going to show you that process. It's honestly as simple as you pop in your email address. It's like three steps and then of course you will have your newsletter set up. So this is what it will look like once you've clicked through those uh, that three step process. So once you've been through that process, this is the dashboard that you will get. So you can see we've already added some subscribers. Don't worry, I will talk you through that process of how you get started. Um, but this is the dashboard. So really quick and simple to get your head around it. You've got write, which of course, as it suggests, is where you do the writing for your newsletter. You've got grow, which is what's gonna help you grow the newsletter and make it bigger. They've even got monetize. So they have a platform that allows you to add ads into the newsletter. I won't go into this in this video, but I will cover it in future videos. This is, of course, your audience where you can take a look at your subscribers. And then, of course, they have the analyze to check on reports, see how your newsletter is growing. They have the key metrics here for you so you can monitor all the most important things. So the first step, of course, when starting a newsletter. So with my partner, she already had around about 200, 220 subscribers. So these were subscribers who had signed up for a lead magnet. So they signed up for a lead magnet in the past and this is what we seeded the newsletter with. So of course you can start a newsletter completely from scratch. If you are starting completely from scratch then you would just go and click start writing. Away you go and then you've got to promote it and you know we'll cover that later on in the video. But for those of us who have maybe a few subscribers already which a lot of people do when I started mine. I had a few subscribers on an old email list. I had some on another. So I had to you know bring them all into this platform. So this is a uh, there's a very important step to be aware of when it comes to actually bringing the subscribers in and getting started. So when you go to the subscribers section, what you can do is click on import subscribers. So this will appear a little bit differently for you. So there is this limit that Beehive uh, impose. What we did is when we added these new subscribers, we actually had to email their support. So I'd recommend that you do that. We gave them the list of subscribers and said, hey, here are the subscribers. Here Here's where they came from. So be very open, be very transparent around where the subscribers came from. They have no issue with you adding subscribers. They just don't want people who've paid for an email list or the people never signed up in the first place. So the list that we had was already in Aweber. And so what we did was just took a screenshot, said, hey, you know, here they are. Here's how they signed up. Here's how they got on the email list. I just want to send them emails now from a different provider. So I don't want really to use that provider anymore. I want to use your provider. And so they imported them for us. No problem at all. You can see they do have limits. Um, I had a much bigger list when I imported it into Beehive. So I had around about 10,000 people on my list. So again, I spoke to support, sent them the list. They imported them all for me, linked all of the name, email, all that kind of stuff together. So they will do that. They do have this Stripe identity verification. So if you are with Stripe, that's a really good way 
way to raise that import limit. That wasn't applicable here. Um, my partner doesn't use Stripe, so that was how we got around it. So that was the first part, was getting people subscribed and set up. Then we moved over to actually writing the first post. Now, here is what I would recommend for the very first post. So what you want to do is give a breakdown of what's going to be included in the email list. Now, in Ree's case, when these subscribers had subscribed to her email list, the previous email list was a little bit different to what she was going to be talking about now. So the best thing to do is to write an email to your subscribers and reintroduce yourself. So it might be that your list was a bit dormant or you used it for another purpose or you didn't email them very much. So you just want to say, you know, introduce yourself again, reintroduce yourself. And what you want to say is, hi, I'm starting this new email newsletter. I totally understand if you want to unsubscribe, you can do so right here. So I put that straight away up front, not putting the gun to their head, not doing shady tactics such as hiding away, you know, where they can actually unsubscribe. I put it bold up front and send and then just underneath I'll say but if you do want to stick around here's what I'm going to talk about so I'm going to talk about a b c d e and really sell the value of what you're going to deliver and you'll be surprised you know in Ree's case I think maybe eight people left the newsletter you know most people stuck around I had the same when I moved my email newsletter over and I changed the content and the structure and how I was going to go about it most people stuck around only a really small percentage just unsubscribed so be open be upfront be honest that that's how you're going to keep the maximum people on your newsletter. Okay, so then we were good to go. So that first email went out, it did really well. So as you can see the statistics here, you know, nearly 60% open rate, which is really good. The next part of this process was you'll get an email with Beehive. So I think it would be in Reed's case, it was something like mummymail.beehive.com. So instead, what we wanted to do is change it over to an actual domain name of hers. So she has her own domain name. And and what we did is you need to go to the settings and then you just have to click on this change email button. And then what's gonna happen is it sends an email to the new email address that you want to use. You can confirm, yes, I own this email. And it sends one to the original email address you signed up with. In some instances, this might be the same for you. So you might be able to just skip this step of changing the email address. But in our case, it was really important. We wanted it branded under her business name. So now we're at a stage where we have the email newsletter set up we've sent out the first email we have you know our own custom email address we also have our, all of our subscribers imported into Beehive and then the next step which is the crucial point is how do you grow this email list so there are a number of ways to do this in future videos I'm going to document a huge number of things that we're going to try to grow this email list from LinkedIn Twitter YouTube you know whatever we try but the first thing that we've done so far is we've used Instagram. So what you can see on screen now are the examples of what we have posted on Instagram. So what my partner has posted on Instagram are on her stories. So what she's done is told people about her new email newsletter and put a little button that says click here. You can go and sign up for the email list. Then the other thing she's done, which is really clever, is she has activated FOMO, right? That fear of missing out. The other thing she's put in her post is I have just sent out an email and you don't want to miss out on this right so that's the other thing to get people to click is by really making it clear activating that FOMO and saying you know hey I've just sent this email you're going to want to get on the list and make sure you get future emails don't miss out so she has quite a small following on Instagram uh, it's a couple of thousand you know not small but it's not enormous either and that's been enough to start driving some additional signups to the email newsletter so that's one tactic she's going to use is put it in the little bio on her Instagram but then also to post it in stories as well to then get people to click, you know, new followers will hopefully then be made aware of the newsletter as well as existing followers. I hope you've enjoyed this video all about starting an email newsletter, how to grow it and documenting the process of us doing exactly that. There is a link below to go and sign up for Beehive. Please do like the video. It helps with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Like I say, I'm going to do more videos about this documenting other growth methods that we use to increase the number of subscribers and to turn this into a business. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.